Make Extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can create quite interesting pattern designs using the Deco Script feature. And there's one feature that can really explore a whole range of different sort of pattern designs and, and backgrounds and textures that you can use throughout your projects. Now, I'm just going to quickly go to the Finder, and with Deco Scripts, you'll find Deco Scripts in the Presets folder, and it's uh, Deco. There's a section called Deco, and you'll see a few scripts such as Brickville, Symmetry, etc. You know, so I've also made a few copies, so I've modified some of mine. But anyway, the one that I'm just going to show quickly here is the Symmetry Fill. Now, just going to bring up the Extend Script Toolkit. You don't have to use this, you can actually use just a normal text editor. You can just edit files, it's just a text file, JSX file. And within this one is the symmetry one. You'll notice the initial symmetry is set to 32, and that's wallpaper P6M symmetry, which of course means absolutely, well, unless you're a pattern expert, who knows. But anyway, there's a whole range of different options. Well, I'm just going to go with the default option, and I'm just going to now go to Photoshop. And I've got a design here. This diamond pattern is from Graphic Extras, my website. And of course, you can create your own patterns. Just a similar sort of thing. And the key thing for, I find for the deco scripts is to have some transparency. So I've actually got here some transparent background. So here's the design. Now I'm just going to actually quickly modify this slightly and I'm just going to add a shadow. You can modify these patterns and maybe just quick little bevel. Click OK. Right. Now I'm going to resize that because I find one thing the deco scripts seem to work best with smaller. Ah, my experience certainly when when you're working with smaller documents like a thousand by a thousand, this actual pattern is a thousand by a thousand. Well, I'm just going to reduce that down now to 150. Just going to make it a bit smaller. Now I'm going to define that as a pattern. That's the edit define pattern, and there it is new pattern one click OK right now I've got this pattern I'm actually just going to go now to another document and I'm just going to go to edit fill pattern and there's and I'm just going to select the pattern and there it is and select the symmetry option now you have to set the scripted patterns to be on symmetry fill click OK and then it will create design and now of course depending on the size of the actual pattern initial pattern maybe you make it smaller maybe you make it bigger you'll actually see obviously a different pattern depends also on the pattern itself of course once you've actually done this you could apply it onto a layer but also you can just of course just now modify it just a normal colorful document you can change and obviously you could just change the symmetry as well you don't have to go with 32 also you can set various color variants etc in the script as well Certainly an area that's uh, really worth checking out. Hope you found this of interest. 